this video, we're learning how to work through proportion word problems. And if we take a look at example one, it says, at a carnival, you can ride five rides with 15 tickets. How many tickets will you need to ride eight rides? Now, you could probably solve this problem without a proportion pretty easily, but I'm gonna show you guys how to set up a proportion and solve it so that you can apply this method for more challenging problems. So when we're setting up a proportion, we wanna set up two equal ratios based on what the problem is saying. So the problem says that you can ride five rides using 15 tickets. So the ratio of rides to tickets in that first sentence is five rides to 15 tickets. And now what we wanna do is set this equal to the ratio of rides to tickets in the second part of our problem. So the second part of our problem says, how many tickets will you need to ride eight rides? So the ratio of rides to tickets is going to be eight and then we're just going to say the number of tickets needed to ride eight rides is gonna be x. So eight over x. And now what we're gonna do is solve this proportion using what's called cross multiplication. So before we cross multiply, I always like to simplify my fractions if possible, and I can simplify five over 15 by dividing the top and bottom by five. So five divided by five gives me one on the top, 15 divided by five gives me three on the bottom, and this is equal to eight over x. And now to cross multiply, we are going to multiply the diagonals together and set those results equal. So one times x gives us x. We're gonna set this equal to this diagonal multiplied together. So three times eight, which is 24. So we get x equals 24, which means it costs 24 tickets to ride eight rides. Let's take a look at example two. So example two says at a supermarket, four oranges cost $5. What is the cost of nine oranges? So again, we wanna set up two equivalent ratios. So we wanna write the ratios of oranges to price. Based on the first sentence, we know that four oranges costs $5. And now we wanna set this equal to the cost of nine oranges in a ratio. So we're gonna say nine oranges on top, and we're gonna put X on the bottom for what is the cost of the nine oranges, so nine over x. So we just set the ratio of oranges to price equal in both situations. And now we can't simplify four over five, so we're just gonna go straight into cross multiplication. So we are going to multiply four by x, and that'll give us four x. We're gonna set this equal to nine times five, which is 45. And now we have to solve this equation. So we have four times X is equal to 45. So to get rid of the four, we need to divide both sides by four. On the left, the fours cancel out. We're just left with X. And on the right, we have 45 over four. And I'm just gonna show you guys how we can simplify this down without a calculator. So I'm gonna change this into a mixed number first. So four goes into 45 11 times and 11 times four is 44. So we have one left over. So we get 11 and 1 fourth, and then you guys may know that 1 fourth is just equal to 0.25. So this is 11.25, which means it costs $11.25 to buy nine oranges. Let's go through two more examples. So for these last two examples, I encourage you guys to pause the video and try them on your own, and then you can watch me work through them to make sure that you solve them correctly. So example three says a recipe for 12 cupcakes uses eight tablespoons of sugar. How many tablespoons of sugar are needed to bake 18 cupcakes? So what we wanna do is set up two ratios. We wanna set them equal to each other, and we wanna do the ratios of cupcakes to tablespoons of sugar. So in the first sentence, we know that for every 12 cupcakes, we need eight tablespoons of sugar. So we're gonna set up the ratio of 12 to eight, and we wanna set this equal to the ratio of cupcakes to tablespoons of sugar in the second part of our problem. So we know that we have 18 cupcakes in the second part of our problem, and we wanna know how many tablespoons of sugar are needed. So this is what we're solving for. So that's gonna be x. So we're gonna put 18 over x. And now we wanna solve this proportion. So we can simplify 12 over eight before we cross multiply. So let's divide the top and bottom by four. 12 divided by four gives us a three on the top, and eight divided by four gives us a two on the bottom. And we're gonna set this equal to 18 over x. And now we can cross multiply. So let's multiply three times x, which gives us a three x, and set this equal to two times 18, which is 36. 
And finally, to solve this, we just need to divide both sides of our equation by 3. On the left side, the 3's cancel out and go to 1, so we're left with an x. On the right side, 36 divided by 3 is 12. So we get that we need 12 tablespoons of sugar. Looking at our last example, it says if 0 0.3 inches on a map represents 5 feet, how many inches represents 20 feet on the same map? So again, we want to set up two equivalent ratios, and let's set up the ratio of inches on the map to feet in real life. So we know that 0 0.3 inches on the map represents 5 feet, and we're going to set this equal to the ratio based on the second part of the problem. So now we're trying to figure out how many inches, so that's going to be our x. So we're going to say x represents 20 feet. So we're going to put 20 on the bottom. And now we're just going to solve this by cross multiplying. We can't really simplify the left fraction, so we're just going to start by cross multiplying. So let's multiply 5 times x, which gives us 5x. And we're going to set this equal to 20 times 0 0.3. And if you want to do 20 times 0 0.3 in your head, you can do 20 times 3, which is 60, and then move the decimal point one place to the left to get that 20 times 0 0.3 is equal to 6. And now finally, to get the x by itself, we're going to divide both sides of our equation by 5. On the left side, 5 divided by 5 is 1, so we're left with x. And on the right side, we get 6 fifths, and I'm just going to change this into a mixed number and a decimal. So 5 goes into 6 one time. 5 times 1 is 5, so we have 1 left over. So we get 1 and 1 fifth, and you guys may know that 1 fifth is just 0 0.2, so we can write this as 1.2 inches as well. So hopefully this video helped you guys learn how to set up and solve proportion word problems. If you want more practice problems, check out the link in our description for a free worksheet.